Hello YouTube, it's the Dom and Henry show. We're uh, checking out this chainsaw that we got from a friend of ours, been sitting up in an attic for who knows how many years. And before we go too crazy on it, I told Henry, let's give it a look, make sure that the, uh, the piston was worth doing anything with. So we took the muffler off, took a look inside the chamber in here. We got no scores. The ring's not seized on the piston, got good compression. We checked the muffler screen. You could tell it hasn't had much use on it or else it'd be full of carbon. We checked the spark on it while we were at it. Make sure we had any spark before we start messing with it. You can see, I don't know if you can see that on the on the screen. Can you see that there, Henry? Yeah, we got some spark. So we got spark, we got compression, piston's good. The problem is it laid around so long, the fuel line is just crumbling apart. Now, where does that fuel line go, Dom? He's the doc. This, Dom's the doctor of engine mechanics. Go this, ahead. This is very common on these chainsaws that sit. Yeah. But anyway, the line goes in the tank, and the fuel filter's in there, which is busted off inside. Comes up to a little tiny hole right here, and goes up inside this handle. Oh, it goes in the handle. And I'm, I'm sure it's all rotted out in here, too. Let's see what Let's happens. Give it a shot. See what's going on in here. And there it is. Let's see if it's rotted. Now, Dom. you want to see if it's rotted, okay? Oh. Look at this. <laughs> That's a fuel line. You believe it? Yeah. Okay. So what do we got to do? Well, we know we need a fuel line, fuel filter. We'll take the carburetor apart in another video just to go through it, make sure the diaphragm's not ruptured. And it looks like a, a fuel line and some fresh gas, and I think this baby will run. Sounds good, Dom. We'll get back we'll to get you. We'll get back with you. All right. Dom the doctor. See ya.